Hello, everyone, and welcome. Montana Forge Virtual Studio presents How to Install a Dummy Handle Set on an Exterior Inactive Door with a One Piece Excutcheon Interior Trim. The tools you will be needing for this installation are a Phillips head screwdriver and a cordless drill with a 3 8 inch drill bit. The distance from the center of the top hole to the center of the bottom hole needs to be 5.5 inches, otherwise one of these half plate or full plate handle sets won't fit. You will have to order a two piece handle set instead. One thing to note here is on dummy function handle sets, the only holes necessary are the cross bore holes. The edge bore holes are used for the latches on the opposite active door, but no latches are used for a dummy handle set. You're also going to have to drill a third hole where the bottom of the handle set attaches to the door. This is where a bolt will be installed that connects the inside to the outside of the handle set. There will be a template included on the instruction sheet within the box where you can determine which side of the template you're going to use. Although no latches are used on a dummy function, you will use the same exact template used when installing the active handle set. Once you are sure which template you are using, go ahead and cut out the three appropriate holes from the template, then cut along the vertical dotted line. Place the template on the door, aligning the edge of the template with the edge of your door, while also lining up with your existing deadbolt and latch holes. Mark the position of the very bottom hole using a pen, pencil, or even your drill bit. Move to the other side of the door and repeat these steps using the template to mark the bottom hole there as well. Use your 3 8 inch drill bit and begin drilling from one side of the door. Make sure that your drill is level and is perpendicular to the door in order to get a nice straight hole through the door. You want to drill a nice clean hole without any splintering, so you will want to do your drilling as carefully as possible, stopping just before the drill breaks through to the other side. Then move around to the other side of the door and finish drilling the hole all the way through. Now that your door is prepped, let's take a moment to go over the components in their exploded view. Carefully unwrap each piece and familiarize yourself with these components. Another thing to note here is that the strikes shown are the strikes for the active handle set, which are always installed on the inactive door. You will find a small plastic bag filled with components meant to turn your active handle set into a dummy handle set. This is the dummy conversion kit. Let's go over these components first. In the bag, you will find a solid spindle, a solid cylinder without a keyway, a brace, a small cylinder pin, and the various screws needed for installation. The first components are the dummy cylinder, the handle set with the chassis screw posts, and the through bolt nut. The next component is the solid spindle and a brace to halt the mechanisms that allow movement. The next components are the one piece mounting plate and two longer gold colored screws, as well as a lower chassis component and two silver colored screws with a small patch of blue Loctite. Following the mounting plate is the beauty cap, through bolt, and threaded washer for securing the bottom portion of the handle set. The next components are the one piece scutch and trim, two threaded collar washers, a thumb turn, and a lever or knob. The final components are the set screws which come pre-installed for the turnpiece and the lever or knob, along with the provided Allen wrenches and collar tightening tools. Let's get started. Locate the exterior handle set trim, the spindle and spindle brace. Place the spindle into the handle set and slide the spindle brace over the spindle and screw posts. When doing this, the handle set thumb piece, as well as the knob or lever on the interior side of the door will no longer operate, as the mechanisms are locked in place, rendering them inactive. Now, locate the dummy cylinder and insert it into the hole at the top of the exterior handle set and set aside. A quick tip, first decide what position you would like your thumb piece to be in. If you would like your thumb piece to be locked in place, meaning it cannot be rotated, proceed with these next steps. If you want to be able to change the position freely, 
then you can leave the mounting plate as is. Now, locate the small metal cylinder that came in your hardware pack. Then, using the provided Allen key on the mounting plate, loosen the set screw near the deadbolt turn piece. You can dump out the spring and ball with a couple taps into your hand. These are what allows the mechanism inside to turn freely. Then set aside the spring and ball and place the small metal cylinder into the hole and replace the set screw. Now, your deadbolt turn piece will be locked in place. Now, place the exterior handle set on the door and line up the mounting plate on the interior side of the door. Secure into position using the hardware screws provided. The two long gold colored screws go on top for the mounting plate and the two silver colored screws go on the bottom for the handle set plate. Tighten the screws snugly but not all the way. Then step around to the outside of the door and adjust the handle set so that it's nice and straight. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and tighten down the screws on the interior side. Next, locate the interior trim plate and threaded collar washers. Then, slide the interior trim plate over the mounting plate and secure with the threaded collars. The smaller one is for the deadbolt and the larger one is for the lever or knob. Start the threaded collars by hand and then locate the two collar tightening tools that came with your handle set. You want to use the tools to tighten these collars as much as possible. You can't over tighten. Then check to make sure that there is no movement in the handle set at all. Next, locate your knob or lever and deadbolt turn piece. Slide the knob or lever over the lower spindle with the set screw facing downward. Then slide the deadbolt thumb turn over the upper spindle in a vertical orientation. Using the provided Allen wrenches, tighten down both set screws on the knob and thumb turn. A quick tip for the deadbolt thumb turn when it's in its place, but not tight, Extend the deadbolt latch so that the set screw is in an easier to reach position for tightening. It is important to note this tip only applies if the turn piece hasn't been locked into place. If you have any trouble getting the knob or lever to go on the post or spindle, you may need to loosen the set screw and then it should go on. It's meant to be a tight fit, so a little more than normal effort is required. Now locate the long through bolt with the threaded washer. This will be used to secure the bottom part of the handle set on the interior side of the door to the bottom part of the handle set on the exterior side of the door. Place the washer on the bolt and then thread through the small lower hole on the door. Tighten until firm and make sure there's no movement on the handle set outside. Lastly, screw the beauty cover over the washer to cover the screw. Congratulations on successfully installing your Montana Forge dummy handle set. We suggest that you keep the Allen wrenches, the threaded collar tightening tools, and any extra screws provided as these will be required in case you ever need to take the lock off the door. Thank you for watching this presentation by the Montana Forge Virtual Studio. We hope this video was helpful and we appreciate your business. For other videos in this series, be sure to visit montanaforgehardware.com.